light light is a type of electromagnetic wave and it's an electromagnetic wave because uh, they have an electronic field as well as a magnetic field um, it's different from sound in that it is not uh, a wave of vibrations um, it's not a pressure wave like sound is it does not need does not require that's an R a medium so in other words it can travel right through open space an example of that is the Sun our Sun sends tons and tons of electromagnetic radiation toward us and it travels right through outer space um, light is similar to sound though in that it will behave like a like a sound wave but it will also behave like a particle and maybe we'll get into that in another video or in class but um, for right now we really don't need to get into too many specifics what I did want to go over um, was this chart here this is a chart of the E M spectrum All right, the electromagnetic spectrum, of course, and uh, I hope you can hope you can see that. Okay, uh, let me change colors here. So, looking at the electromagnetic spectrum, this is all the different types of electromagnetic waves: um, radio waves, long radio waves, regular radio waves, microwaves. This is infrared. IR. Um, here's visible light. And if you notice, um, the amount of space in the spectrum for visible light is very small. Uh, visible light is a very small section of the, the whole EM spectrum. Um, books will show you something like this because it's so small, it's, they, they want to show you the details so they kind of magnify it and, and set, um, put another picture in there. Our book does that. Uh, most of the different pictures of the EM spectrum will have that also that's what that's what this is um, UV that's ultra violet um, x-rays and this is gamma gamma rays and this is what created the Hulk if you're a comic book fan so looking at it you can see that there are all types of EM waves that visible light is a small portion of the EM waves um, and there the the types the other types of EM waves you're pretty familiar with um, you know radio waves microwaves of, co of course infrared these are heat waves all right that's that's the EM wave that produces heat and warms us um, that's what uh, you know keeps the fries warm at McDonald's when they have that uh, that lamp over it a heat lamp ultraviolet all right when you put on sunscreen you're protecting yourself from burning by the ultraviolet radiation um, and then x-rays of course you're I'm sure you've had been x-rayed before in the hospital or the doc doctor's office or something like that um, the one thing that we should keep in mind when we're talking about the EM spectrum is that these are all um, EM waves and the thing that makes one different from the other is basically its frequency its frequency and you can see here that it, it's an increasing fre frequency going this way so over on this side of the chart the uh, the wavelengths are going to be very small right and then over here it's going to be a little bit larger and then over here it's super large okay so just like sound waves have different frequencies and they'll have a different sound um, the EM spectrum has different frequencies and it produces a completely different type of wave um, so a long wave would be you know the radio waves the short um, waves with a lot of energy that's going to be um, the x-rays and it makes sense that it has a lot of energy right the 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 speed and the amount 
of of waves going through that you know just looking at it can you can, you can probably intuitively say oh yeah this is going to have a lot more energy than that all right so em spectrum and light uh, just some basic ideas and i'll see you on the next video